And what's your advice to dealing with setbacks? When somebody starts to live their life like that, all right, and they get a crisis comes up and they have a real hard time in handling it or she has a real hard time in handling it, what advice do you have for them in that hard hour? You know, I don't think it's about advice. I think that the reason that uh, failure poses problems is because the viewpoint from which we view the game is fundamentally flawed. So I don't think it's like coming in and um, on the back end and trying to pick up the pieces. Because if you do that, I mean, the pieces are going to fall apart again. So you're only, you're only putting the, the pieces together with scotch tape. So that's irrelevant. So the real question becomes not, well, what advice do you have to um, help someone get through it? It doesn't matter if they get through it. Because if they get through this, then there's going to be another assault coming very soon. Isn't, this is not going to be the last assault. Right. So the question is that if you know that an assembly line of assaults are coming, then what is it? What is the frame? What is the understanding? What is the lens through which you are viewing the game that is causing you consternation when things do not go uh, the way in which you hope that they should? And for you, what does that what does that look like? <laughs> you are too interested in answers. <laughs> um, what do you mean? What does it look like? Like, I, I mean, you've had some challenges, and I assume yeah. recently you've had some things turn out not the way you wanted them. How, how do you? How have you dealt with them? It's not. A, it's not really about um, answers. As it just people want to know. Well, I don't think it's about how do I deal with them. I think I think it's about. Um, it is yet another example. It is another um, sort of, you know, notch in the wall, so to speak, uh, of just how unsatisfying life really is. Um, life and the journey of a worldly slash domestic existence, um, it, if that is the the lens through which life is lived. Uh, there is a constant struggle in order to achieve a sense of satisfaction. And, and so that compels one to chase pleasurable experiences or chase success or chase, you know, various forms of feathers in the cat in order to give oneself a greater so self-image, going back to what you asked earlier, or self-worth, uh, in hopes of arriving at some form of satisfaction, um, but that never lasts. So I think the the more setbacks and quote failures and uh, and dramas and conflicts, you know, they. They just, for the person who is looking at them as such, will, you know, just sort of underscore um, that, you know, it, it, it drills home the point that Buddha was right. Life, indeed, is suffering. There is no question about that. And that is not in any way spiritual, mystical, religious, or theoretical. 